All right, guys. What a fight. What a night. Started out pretty much as I expected, man. Honestly, the first round, Garcia comes out very aggressive. Garcia comes out throwing bombs. And I'm thinking, Garcia missed weight. Garcia's been acting crazy this whole camp. Garcia's probably not that confident that he can go to full distance. So he's going to come out, balls to the wall, guns a-blazing, and say, I'm going to get this knockout in the third, first, second, or third, fourth round early. And if I can't get it, then sorry, I'm just I'm just going to gas out and I'm, I'm cooked. But at least I gave my best effort. But it didn't go like that. Now, he came out aggressive in that first round. Wasn't able to hurt Haney as much as he wanted. Haney actually landed a, a you know some sharp punches to keep him off. And then Haney gets into his bag and, and pretty much starts doing what I expected the entire fight to be. Second round, I had Haney. Third round, I had Haney. Fourth round, I had Haney. Fifth round, I had Haney. Probably even sixth round, I had Haney. He, he, he's starting to take over. Ryan Garcia. I was saying on my stream, Ryan Garcia just completely abandoned his jab. He completely stopped jabbing. And for a couple rounds, I was literally thinking, and even, even after the result of the fight and when he turned the tide, I'm starting to think, does this dude really train? Because between fights, he doesn't seem to add any new wrinkles. He doesn't seem to add any new wrinkles. He seems to... the sh Yeah, like you're saying in chat right now, the shoulder roll. He, he throws this nonstop just spamming left hooks. His defense is a nonchalant, unpolished shoulder roll where he doesn't actually shoulder roll. He just turns his back. He's not throwing any jabs. He's letting Haney go first in every exchange. Haney goes first, and he tries to counter with a left hook. Haney goes first, he tries to counter with a left hook. Haney goes first, he tries to counter on the left hook. That's pretty much what the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth round were. Every round was pretty much the same thing. Haney's trying to spam left hooks, and I'm like, okay, this is exactly what the tank fight was. He's spamming the left hook, and if he can't land the left hook, he's too one-dimensional to get started on anything else. He doesn't jab. So, Haney's going to cruise. And then, we see a moment that we've never seen in Devin Haney's career. Devin Haney hits the canvas in the seventh round, and it's bad. And it's, guess what? A left hook. The right hand was landing as well. Yeah, you're right. The right hand was landing. But I think... The left hook was really opening up everything else because once he landed that left hook in the seventh round, Haney was so scared of that left hook that the right hand just became money also. And he drops him bad in the seventh round. Bad in the seventh round. I mean, bad. Like, he could have had him out cold. I think he could have had him out cold if Ryan Garcia composed himself a little bit more because he has that moment where he drops Haney badly. And we've never seen Haney hurt. And this is something that will follow Haney in his career because, you know, you see some guys that get dropped, they take that 10 count, and they get back up, and they're ready to go. But Haney was hurt for rounds. And honestly, I don't think after the seventh round, Haney really, Haney really recovered at all back to himself. He, I don't think he really ever recovered after that seventh round back to himself. And Ryan Garcia just gets so aggressive that the referee has to take a point. He throws an illegal blow. The referee takes a point. And I'm like, oh, my God, Ryan, you just blew your chance. That was your chance. You could have knocked him out cold because he's hurt so bad. He's hurt so bad. He's stumbling. He's falling at your knees. He's grabbing. He's desperately the ref did let Grant Haney grab, but also in those in-between rounds, Garcia was grabbing a lot as well. So, And also, he never took a point for um, Garcia turning his back. And Garcia turned his back probably 10 times at least in this fight. At least. But yeah, um, Garcia hurts him badly in that seventh round, but he loses a point. So that's a 9-8. Should be a 10-8. 
nine eight. So I'm like, damn, Ryan, you blew it. That was your chance. But then he comes out in the eighth round, and I thought he won the eighth round as well. Ryan Haney is still very hurt. Very hurt. Ninth round, Haney kind of recovers. Ninth round, Haney kind of recovers. And I'm thinking, okay. Garcia, all the Twitter antics, all the everything. Your, your, your brain is just not in it. You had him. But you're not disciplined enough. You're too much of a head case. You just blew it. And you're done. And now Haney's just going to cruise to a decision. And that happens in the ninth round. And then we get to the 10th round. And the left hook lands again. Bad. Bad. And he never recovered from this. He never recovered. Honestly, I'm I'm thinking after he gets hurt badly in the 10th round, I say, okay, this, this is actually becoming so bad that Garcia is not only a knockout threat, Garcia could win the decision just from how much he's hurting you now. So he hurts him in the 10th, and I go, okay, Haney, if you can recover and win one more round decisively, I think you can still win this fight. It's close. If you can win one more round after you get hurt badly in the 10th, if you can recover and steal one of these rounds back, I think you can win or you can get a draw. And he just never did. Hurt bad in the 10th. Hurt bad in the 11th. Hurt decently in the 12th. But after that 10th round, like I said, Haney had never been dropped. We had never seen how his, ch his chin or his recovery were. And after that 10th round, I'm telling you right now, everything Haney was getting hit with hurt him badly. Everything Garcia hit him with was hurting him. Go watch the 10th, 11th, 12th round. He's in a nonstop, constant state of panic. A nonstop, constant state of panic. And I got a lot of Haney fans that been telling me Tank ain't ready. I got a lot of Haney fans that been telling me Tiafimo ain't ready. All right, I'm reading chat. Haney should have ripped to the body when Ryan's back was turned. He did it when the ref warned him, but then it, yeah, see that that is another factor in the fight. Here's what happened: the referee didn't want to continue to get involved. He's hitting him in the back. The referee gets involved. He's hitting him in the back. The referee's getting involved. He's hitting him in the back. The referee gets involved. And then at some point, Ryan just keeps turning his back. And I think the ref is just like, you know what? You're going to keep turning your back? Just, okay, I'm going to let him hit you. And there's one point in the fight where Devin throws like six or seven straight punches directly to his back. And the referee's just like, stop turning your back. And I think that's valid. And I do still think for Ryan Garcia's future, it doesn't look like he's, you know, I've heard it from a couple of his coaches. You know, he changes camps a lot. And, and a lot of the coaches say, you don't really coach Ryan. You kind of coach with him. He kind of coaches himself and you just kind of are a god. And I can see that because, like I said, he could, no, this, this is actually what frustrates me so much watching his fights. He could actually be so good. Ryan Garcia could be so good. Imagine if Ryan Garcia, along with that left hook, had a sharp jab, which he does have a sharp jab, but he had a sharp jab that he consistently throws. Imagine he had a sneaky right hand. Imagine he had a you know nasty uppercut when, the, when they start ducking under his left hook. Imagine he had a nasty right uppercut. He just doesn't, he, he's just so, you know, he becomes so one-dimensional. Once he lands that left hook one time, He's just throwing it. He's just spamming it. And that's what he was doing. Second, third, fourth, fifth round, sixth round. But then when it lands, boy, it lands. And Haney just never recovered. Haney, it, 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 and it's bad because it's almost worse that he missed weight, which is um, which could have been a tactic, honestly. It could have been a tactic for him to come in 
overweight and just bully because he looked way bigger. Imagine Ryan was southpaw with a crisp jab and left hook. Yeah. He just doesn't, he, he doesn't seem to add more in between fights. There's no fighter. There's no fighter that's more predictable from fight to fight. Like, you know exactly what he's going to do. You know exactly what he's going to do. He's going to throw a shitload of left hooks. And that, I mean, Tank told you. It's a little bit better. It's a little bit easier to defend the left hook when you're a southpaw, but it worked. It worked tonight. And, um, man, how did he make weight? How did he make weight versus Tank but not Haney? Well, that was at 135, which is crazy because he just wasn't this one. All bullshit aside, like a lot of people think that he was just trolling. No, I think that he really was kind of bullshit in this camp. And he still won. Which is kind of bad on Haney. And as, as I was saying about, you know, the fact that Haney loses but still retains the belt. I mean, talk about a paper champ. I mean, who is going to take him serious now? He's got a rematch. Like, I think a rematch is the only thing that should be on Devin Haney's mind. Because going forward as a champ after you just got your ass beat like that. Like, if if Haney said, I don't want no more of Ryan. I want I want the tank fight. I want the Tia Fimo fight. I want to go for another belt at 140. I want the um, Pitbull, Pitbull Cruise fight. Think how crazy it's gonna think 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 about the negotiations with Tank after Tank just watched Garcia do that to you. How how are you gonna expect to be the A side and demand more money than Tank when you just let Ryan Garcia do that to you? I know you're the champ. I know you got the belt. But it's the no, the negotiations are gonna go nowhere with any of these big dogs because they just saw what Ryan Garcia did to you. And they're gonna expect to be the A side now. Because your stock is down. Even with that belt, your stock is down. So you have to, he has to write that wrong. What up, Slim KG? What's up, brother? He has to write that wrong, man. And honestly, I think that if Ryan Garcia fought more composed, he should have knocked him out cold. Every time, every time he got, every time he got Devin hurt, he would do something that caused the ref to interfere. He would just get wild, and the ref would have to interfere. Which the referee didn't have to interfere, but you know he, he playing by the rules. He he kind of did have to interfere. But if the if the ref kind of let them go, I think Haney would have got to put out. I think Haney would have got to put out in that seventh round, and probably in that tenth or eleventh round, he would have got put out. Slim KG, thank you for the follow, brother. Thank you all for all my Twitch people, all my YouTube people. We just hit 6,000 subscribers on YouTube. Much love to everybody that has subscribed. Uh, we do this for all the all the UFC fights, all the boxing fights. Lock in with me, guys. Um, but I'm going to quickly close this out. I'm going to clip this little you know, recap for YouTube. Um, what's next for Garcia? Man. My thought at my thought in the lead up to this fight is, you know, Garcia is going to come out aggressive for the first three rounds and then Haney's going to take over and he's going to he's going to either DQ himself or quit on the stool because he gets so frustrated. But he's bought himself some more big fights. He's bought himself some more big fights. He said he doesn't care about belts. But um, if he was on weight, he would have been a champion right now. He would have been set up to go after Pitbull Cruz, which, that, I mean, hey, that's a good fight. He's set up to go after Pitbull Cruz or Tiafimo or, you know, welcome welcome Tank in a rematch up to 140. He, he set himself up for some money fights, man. Shakur want to fight Garcia? Man, it's just hard for me to put. Shakur has better defense than Haney. I will say Shakur has better defense than Haney, but it's hard for these guys that don't have power to go up against these new age guys that have power and skill, not Ryan, but like tank and Tia Fimo have both. So it's just so hard for me to say Shakur and Devin 
could just outpoint Tank or Tiafimo because they have skill and power. And all it takes is one, as we saw today. And once you're hurt, you're 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 on skates. And his boxing fit was hard. Yeah, I, I I liked his I liked his outfit too. But I like the I like the last fight. I like the hanging one from the last fight. A lot of people didn't hate it on that. I like the last one. Um. Yeah, Shakur's on Twitter talking back and forth with Tank. Hey, I said it before and I'll say it again. Tank. I'm a Tank guy. I'm a Tank guy. I'm not gonna rub it in y'all Haney fa- Haney fans' faces because I like Haney too. And I picked Haney to win tonight. But I'm a Tank guy. And I told y'all, Tank has skill and power. He has both. You ain't going to be just able to, you know, outbox him and stand on the outside and stun on him for a whole fight. You're not. He's going to land eventually. He's going to land eventually. The only way that I could see Tank possibly losing to any of these guys is, of course, by decision. And, of course, by the fact that he's... You know, a slow starter, similar to like Canelo. Sometimes he'll he'll let you get four rounds ahead. He'll just chill for four rounds, downloading, not throwing throwing like single digit punches per round. He's just chilling. And somebody could possibly get so far ahead of him on the scorecards, and then eventually that that one shot doesn't land, and then he's in trouble and and loses a decision. But, um. Tank is my guy. Haney should be forced to vacate his belt. Yeah, honestly, if I was if I was Haney, I would have fucking came in that ring and just threw my belt in the ground. Like, yo, I'm a joke. I I I need to win this fight before I can even touch that. I don't want to see this belt. I would literally go in the middle of the ring on the mic, take my belts, throw them on the ground, until I beat this guy. I don't even want to see these belts. Don't don't bring these belts in my house. Don't bring these belts around me. I don't deserve these belts right now until I can beat this man right here in front of me. And then that puts the man on the rematch and the rematch is for the belt. And then hopefully Ryan can make make weight or maybe Ryan strategically is going to miss weight. I don't know. You know, maybe, maybe that's an advantage, but hey, Devin said yes to it. So what can you say? What can you say? Man, what a fight, man. What a fight. Wow. All my YouTube folks, let me know what y'all thought about the fight. Let me know y'all what what should be next for all these guys. And let me know, just let me know what's on your mind. Let me know in the comments. Appreciate you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next fight. The next stream I'm going to do, the next YouTube video and next everything I'm going to do is going to be for the Canelo versus Munguia fight. We'll be live for that. I think the same day there's a UFC fight. And of course, we're going right into the um, undisputed heavyweight Usyk versus Fury coming up in May as well. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you.